Today, I'm going to be reading the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 41 to 51. At this, the Jews began to grumble about him, because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophet, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to the Father and learns from him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. I tell you the truth, he who believes has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your forefathers ate the manna in the desert, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which a man may eat and not die. I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Word of the Lord. Hi. In this passage, Jesus has said, I am the bread come down from heaven. Um, he's with a big crowd of people as usual. And he has told them just previously that they aren't uh, following him around because of the miracles, but they're following him around because he feeds them. I, I thought there was a bit of humor in that. Um, and they said to him, well, you have to show us a miracle if you want us to believe in you more. But it's ironic because he's already shown them lots of miracles and they don't focus on that. So their eyes are on earthly physical things, not spiritual things. And their eyes are on temporal things and not heavenly things. So he says he is the bread from heaven. And they talk about manna being the bread from heaven. And he said, yeah, that was bread. Um, but the people who ate it died because he is the spiritual bread. He's not the physical bread. And Yes, bread is the staff of life. That's what it's called. And it sustains people and it's an essential element in their diet. But he says, you know, eat that and you're, you will die. But if you eat of me, you will live forever and you will have everlasting life. And so they are so confused um, about that. And he tells them that um, with bread, you die the earthly body dies but with me you will know who i am because the father testifies to me and if you know the father you know me so from this passage i'm really grateful to jesus for his forgiveness beyond that um he's being rejected he's being um the religious leaders want to kill him. He's being scorned. Um, he's speaking the truth. He's perfect. And yet we accepted him not. We didn't see him. And so I'm so grateful that he didn't give up on us. He didn't um, reject us the way we rejected him. No matter what scorn was heaped on him. He still responded in love right till the last moment on the cross when he said, Father, forgive them. They know what they, not what they do. So we're really blessed and privileged to be drawn to the Father by him. And we're really blessed to have been chosen by him. We're blessed that he gave us the eyes to see, even though we haven't seen the miracles. And yeah, I'm grateful for his love and forgiveness. Um, and how he responded to those who were cruel. He responded with love. So that's our blessing and that's what I got out of this passage.